This is the free motion quilting tutorial for sharp swirling water. This design is being sponsored by From Daisy to Paisley, a book of beginner level free motion quilting filler designs. Check out this book at freemotionquilt.com. Now let's get back to sharp swirling water. To quilt this design you're going to start with a very jagged line and then you're going to kind of go into a square leaving space for yourself to get out. Then simply stitch your way all the way back out and around the spiral, going back to your starting line. Now you're simply going to travel stitch and echo this whole shape. This is a variation of swirling water and I encourage you to go back and check out that design so you can see how this works when you're using very curving flowing lines. Here I'm using straight lines and sharp angles so that this looks very different but the two designs work identically. They work exactly the same. So you can see I'm just simply working around, echoing, building up this swirl. And now I'm going to kind of fill in this little odd area right here. Just trying to keep it consistent with some straight lines. The easiest thing to do is just simply pick a set of lines and fill in that area then simply work your way around and try and keep the whole thing consistent so it all looks pretty much the same. Now I'm going to branch off with a new sharp swirling water. So here you can see I'm going into kind of a square shape and then filling in leaving space and working my way back out. Here I fast forward and you can see what this texture looks like on the surface of your quilt. It looks amazing. This is going to be a great design to use uh, all over your quilt. It would be really awesome if you had a quilt full of circles or flowing shapes to stitch this design over. I really like contrasting straight lines and sharp angles with flowing piecing designs. It's really fun. You're going to end up with weird areas. There's just no way to get around that. And you can see how I'm filling that with just simply these straight lines that keep the design moving and keep it consistent with the other sharp swirling water shapes. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish sharp swirling water. Wanting to learn more about free motion quilting? Go to freemotionquilt.com for over 200 videos on free motion quilting, plus loads of tips on how to get started.